What I have here is a measuring cup full of tap water. And I have a transfer pipette. This is a piece of lab equipment um, where I've put a hex nut on it. And then I clipped the stem of this pipette. Um, this may not be something that we could do in the kitchen, but maybe if you found like an eyedropper or something, maybe that could work. Um, and what I've done is I have squeezed out the air and then added enough water to get it to where it's just floating in the water. So hopefully you can see that it's, it's like a buoy. It's floating in the water. It's not sinking, but it's not like bobbing out of the water too much. And then I have a one liter bottle. I took the label off of it because it will be easier to see. And I have filled it full of tap water all the way full. It was brimming and overflowing a little bit and I wiped it off. And now I'm going to put my um, pipette bulb in here. And you can see some of the water even came out. That's good. I want it to be as full as possible. And I'm going to cap this tightly. So you can see that my pipette bulb is floating. And whenever I squeeze, it dropped to the bottom. And then I let go and it floats back up to the top. This is called a Cartesian diver. Squeeze and it drops and let go and it floats back up. And if you pay close attention, you might be able to see that whenever I squeeze it, the air bubble in my dropper gets smaller. Ooh. And the harder I squeeze, the smaller that air bubble gets. It's because the amount of gas in the bulb stays the same, but the volume can change. So when pressure goes up, volume goes down. One way that you can do this at home is get a condiment packet and they always have a little bubble in it and just a water bottle and you can put that in there and then whenever you squeeze it the condiment packet falls to the bottom and whenever you let go it rises to the top so this is one way to make a cartesian diver at home